Go. Hey, you going there, guys, and welcome to another episode of the Smashing Crossbar Podcast. I'm your host, Josh, once again, joined by Ben, as always. How are you, champ? I'm good, mate. How has your past couple of weeks been? Very busy from what we've been reading <laughs> on social media. Yes, mate, very busy. Another another daughter. Um, thanks to my, my amazing wife, obviously, um, delivered me another gorgeous little girl. So, three girls now, surrounded by them. So, bring on away days, eh? Yeah, bring on the way days. And from everybody here on the other side of the crossbar capers, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to wish Joshy Boy congratulations him and both Christy Lee on the birth of their new daughter. Uh, thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. So, guys, before we get into it, I just want to state this will be the last podcast we're going to do for a couple of weeks. We'll be back, obviously, um, probably a week before Christmas, just to obviously see how everyone's traveling and what everyone's doing over the Chrissy break and so forth. I know what I'll be doing, gearing up for the 27th of December, round one. So i um, itching for that. Mm. So just letting you know, we will be taking a couple of weeks break. Um, yeah, other than that, I think I need it. <laughs> well, especially, yeah. especially with two screaming kids running around. So um, we figured, why not, let's get the last one obviously underway. We've obviously hit up Laurie, um, see if he can jump on, give us a bit of insight into obviously what's going to happen over the next month. <laughs> With obviously pre-season fixtures and obviously possible signings and obviously takeovers and fucking from A to B. From the top to the bottom, we're going to run straight through it all. If you miss it, um, obviously come back, re-watch it because we're not going to go over it twice. Um, Luke, if you're there, mate, or one of you's, if one of you are there, obviously one of you would be greatly appreciated. If you just could jot down all these major points. So when Laurie gives us his answers of what's happening, of stuff like that. If someone could write it all down for me, just the basics, you know, whoever the, um, the fixtures are going to be against, whatever, that'd be muchly appreciated. I'll share is a beer next time I'm up there for a game. Um, but anyway, we're going to get underway. Laurie, mate, thank you very much for jumping on again. No, no problem at all. Very and good, mate. The tell is people who have three girls are athletes. Yeah. So top level athletes are the ones who spit out three girls. So congratulations, son. Nah, thanks very much, mate. Doing something right. Absolutely, absolutely. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll honour it and do it well with the, with the beer gut I've got, mate. So I wouldn't go athlete, but <laughs> I'll take it. Um, so yeah, guys, honestly, whack your whack any questions you guys have got in here. Again, we're going to go through the um, the memberships and saga. We're going to go through obviously owners and stuff like that. Again. Laurie will tell us the, what he possibly can tell us. At the end of the day, that's all we can do, and uh, we appreciate him for that. So, mate, we may as well start from the very top of probably what's on everyone's mind recently is the memberships. There's been some talk about, obviously, in there, people whinging. We'll say whinging again. You know, obviously, yep. about discounts and everything else of, you know, possibly meant to be getting a 25% discount, etc., etc. Um What's what's the go with the memberships, mate? What's what's different this year about yeah, the memberships? Up to twenty five percent off. There we go. Depends what your membership is. I think our basic membership is the second cheapest in the league. I think the Mariners is slightly cheaper. Um, just for the basic one, ours is one hundred eighty five bucks for um, thirteen games, six W League, and then one or two trips down the coast. So probably nine or ten bucks. Um, obviously the pack's not been allowed in it and that was feedback we got for a lot of members so I'm seeing a lot of people whinging no whinging, just saying the piece and I'm seeing a lot of people supporting um, it was thought because I'll give you an example Per Glory have got less members than us last year we we um, got about 1.4, 1.5 million and from memberships during the season, Perv got two and a half million in because ours were the cheapest in the league last year. Now we're the second cheapest. Um, and obviously, we're looking for new owners or not. We're not looking for new owners. We've got potential new owners. But um, obviously, these guys are only going to come in and just lose money every year like Martin Lee did. So, mm. so for the... There were some, the 25%, people were expecting, it, but it was up to 25%, and it depends what level of membership you've got. 185 bucks for, as I said, 20 to 21 games. 
is is not bad value. The pack, you pay have to pay fifteen bucks for a pack. Um, for your hat and your sunglasses, the drink bottle, whatever you want to mix up. Yeah. Um, and I was going to answer a guy. Somebody messaged me on Twitter, and I was going to go back and answer. But then you know you, you just start. You, you don't want to be rude, and you don't. You know you just want to be respectful. So it was the decision the club made to. The members were fantastic last year. They didn't get all the games. There were a couple of games down, but the the support yeah. we had for the membership during the pandemic and during the break was amazing. You know, we had a few phone calls, people wanting the money back, which was done. Um, but the gen the support for the majority of the members was outstanding. And then some of them's not happened. We've had to. The reason we couldn't do the automatic renewals this year, which would have been a lot easier, we just felt and. Because we were supposed to get a draw on Friday for the first cut of the draw. Yeah. Um, but when the border thing changed on Friday afternoon, it get pulled off the mm. table again because it's going to be a bit more even. Because it was looking like we'd maybe have a bye the first round and then and have a, a bit of a, a one of the Sydney teams in the second round. But that's all been binned now because the borders are starting to change and it's even changed again today. So it means that more teams can play against different teams. So yeah. hopefully next week we'll have another, we'll at least get a look at the first draft. Um, yeah. But the reason we couldn't do the automatic renewals is because we never really had enough time to actually know what the draw was so people can look at it. So we just thought we'd do the right thing and go back to basics and then get every, and It was chock-a-block yesterday with people, people renewing. Yeah. Um, the place was busy there were there's still people and i know there were some people whinging about having it on the phone um but they're going to be it'll be some of the older the pensioners who don't have iphones and stuff they'll still be able to get tickets so yeah. we're going yeah. to take that into so it's being that's the reason why they're no automatic but we made a decision about the packs a lot of people have shown the support and a lot of people don't like it because uh, yeah. it's changed and that's just human nature but we really if we're going to be serious to have a team here in 20, 30, 40, 50 years which is the plan because as we've said before the licence could have went to Brisbane Gold Coast, Tasmania or Canberra and it was I mean, I just, there's no chance of that happening and we need to have a sustainable club and if people can't pay $9 a game of football well maybe Maybe they shouldn't be going to the football. Maybe they should go and buy a cappuccino and a bun because that costs them more than nine bucks. Mm. Yeah, exactly right. Um, obviously, before we, as well, guys, we'll, we'll once we'll just get all this from Laurie and then we'll let Laurie go because we're not going to sit here for hours or whatever talking about it. So once Laurie goes, we will obviously go into more of a discussion as fans and stuff like that with you guys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously, again, it's it's that simple. As Laurie was sort of saying, I. I done a little bit of basic maths. If you buy the hundred and eighty five dollar Bay One general admission um, season membership, yeah. uh, twenty six bucks or whatever it is, freaking if you do the monthly repayments or whatever it is, it works out as Laurie said about nine dollars fifty a game. Like you can't get much better than that. Like it's it's ridiculous. You go to Melbourne City game, it's twenty five bucks general admission easy, and they put yeah. it in the freaking very corner, and you can't see shit. So. <laughs> Like, come on, guys. Like, it's just, yeah, one of those things. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll continue on, obviously. So we've got the memberships there. What do we got? When will the new kits be available to the public? Have a uh, good... I found it at Ask Viv today at Viva. Yep. Uh, 10th of December. And Viva, Viva are looking to open up a merchandise store in Newcastle. Yeah. Um, and they're looking to do the opening run about the 10th, 12th of yep. December for Christmas. They've got, they've got a lot of special stuff that was handed in last year when another shop went, uh, when everything football closed. So um, yeah. mm. they're going to have a lot of stuff for Christmas. There's going to be great value for price in that. But the, the new kits are in about the 10th, and that's when they're looking to open a new store up in Islington. Just go. an FYI on that, guys. I was perusing the Viva website by random chance two days ago. And that code, that 70% code that we got, what was it, three months ago? Yeah. It still works. Because oh, I bought a training top from last season, and it cost me fuck all. 
<laughs> well, there you go. Get on it. Um, the third kit, Laurie. There's been a yeah. bit of talk. Been a bit of talk. Obviously, we've seen one there. If, um, one of the guys in the chat obviously plays a bit of football manager and that, and it come up on there. It's like a white white top, green pinstripe by looks, and a bit of a green collar. Is 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 that sort of? No, I, ain't got, I don't think it's a green because it might be a bit of cinnamon something, but that's oh. top secret and I can't tell you. But it was pretty close. Oh, yummy! Very good, very so, good. I'm excited now. Bring so on maybe, the team. Oh, maybe, first one I'm maybe, getting. Maybe all the KB the fans want yes. the green, white, and gold, and they reckon I'm a bigot at Rangers supporter and hate green. But there you go. There's hey. a lot of white there, but they just they just might be a shade of green. Oh. They could be, but yeah. it could always be blue. How it many could years? Always be blue. I think it's been since day one. Laurie freaking joined the club. I think I've been freaking asking for the cinnamon. Uh, <laughs> yes. Here we go. We're getting there, lads. Rightio, let's get into it. A few more. What do we got? Um, Baby steps. There was one there that freaking Hayden just put. Where to go? Sorry. Uh, why do we have more members than attendance at games? Just your honest opinion in that, Laurie. So last year we had ten thousand five hundred members. Yep. And you normally out of that, you normally get. On average, it's about 6,000 usually come to a game. And that's just standard for the game. And that's most teams. So when we done the survey two years ago with Newcastle Uni, mm -hmm. the most members would use about seven or eight of the games out of full season ticket. Mm -hmm. And that, and generally it came up kickoff time. So um, Sunday, we had a couple of Sundays at seven. Mm. Um, but Sunday afternoon, five o'clock, thirty-four degrees, not ideal. Um, Saturday, when there were Friday night kickoffs, I know they used to be popular, but they died off a bit. A lot of people said timing of games and family, family situations. That's why. But so, but seven or eight, most members will use seven or eight. So generally, ten and a half thousand members will get about six thousand turn up for that game. There we go. Or, uh, and then on the other side of the coin, you have people like me that would love to fly up to Newcastle every second week to watch a game but can't and still pay for we'll a use, membership. Well, you guys pay for your full membership and do it. So things like that. So a bigger yeah. games, you'll get a bigger percentage coming. Um, yeah. like we, in our sponsorship deals, that say a company gets 20 tickets, say we give away 1,000 per game, just say yeah. it's 1,000 go to sponsors, generally mm. um, about 500 will use them. Yeah. So and that and it doesn't mean because they don't want to go to the game. It's just it's the same in the corporate. We had to supply FFA forty tickets every week in the chairman's lounge for mm. Hyundai, Fox, or these guys. Sometimes yeah. no, sometimes nobody would turn up, but we had to pay for that. Yeah. We yeah, had yeah. to pay for the catering. So it's just um and I remember going back a few years ago we did the I think it was um, per glory game, first game of the season, maybe three, four years ago. We gave away tickets free, and you had to pay the ticket fee. Yep. So you could buy two or three tickets. You had to pay the four dollars fifty. Because yeah, when yeah, give, yeah. When you, when you give tickets away, like to a school, you again you'll get half the people turning up. When you get people actually having to pay some money, they actually turn up. So we. We allocated six thousand tickets off the system, and five thousand turned up because mm. they paid four dollars fifty ticket fee. So, yeah. so generally, it's that round about. If we've got the ten thousand, we'll roughly get about six thousand. The bigger games, you'll get more, but in a normal game, you'll get. And what happened a few years ago when we had the record membership, we took less at the ticket window for the game. So yeah. The, yeah, the sales went down to general tickets because we actually more people bought memberships. Yeah. yeah. Um, in regards to obviously the owners and owners and coaching and all that sort of stuff, and obviously preseason games and stuff, guys, we'll, we'll get that to the very end we'll get, yeah, because we'll get that'll that. be virtually just straight up at the very end. We'll nail them out and send send Laurie on his way. I'm sure he's. Hi, Andy. I'm sure he's got to cook tea. Um, <laughs> that, Christine's taking out the tea because I worked uh, for six hours in the garden today. Oh, oh, oh look at. Yeah. Well, well it, started at two and a, it started at two and a half, but I'm just exaggerating every time I see it. <laughs> <laughs> just found a poor old Central Coast bloke freaking walking along the main drag. <laughs> Dragged him over. I'll pay 100 bucks. 
Clean it up. Um, West Indian United games attract small crowds, home and away games. Hey, we caught up to dinner the other week with the with the boys from the All Out West podcast. Now that our 25-kilometre radius bubble is gone, uh, we went out beers with the lads from West United, and they are a top-class bunch of good lads. lads. Good lads. They're doing great things down there. Um, what have we got in here? Here we go. Any, any news or info on future community events, um, such as Members Day, la di da um, yeah. Into the yep. community, members and, yeah, stuff for the community. Members Day is going to be. It's not been re- announced yet, so I'm just going to do it. It's going to be on the 19th of December, and that will be at the stadium. And the Jets will be playing Wellington Phoenix on that day. So the membership day. So we'll have the W League girls there. The full squad will be there because yep. they're starting roughly the same time as the boys, but. We yep. did look at getting having a game with them as well, but we couldn't get opposition. So we'll be playing Wellington, and the girls will be there. So that will be the the members' day on the nineteenth of December. Any chance we could get a live feed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your, your people can talk to my people. And we'll see what we can do. Beautiful. Well, our like people it. is me. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I need I need one for um, MacArthur as well, and I need another one for yeah. um, any any future ones. So, um, <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Obviously, the nineteenth. You know, it'd be great. I'd love to see the friggin', I'd, I'd love to see the guys versus the girls. That'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a great, you know, friggin', mate. The girls beat the friggin' under eighteen Joeys or whatever it was, and they friggin' smashed them or something. So, yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, that was a that? while ago. Yeah, so, mate, they're good. But they're good. Right, anyway, let's keep moving on. I was thinking of upgrading. I was thinking of upgrading the plat to the platinum package to put more money in to the club. Is that not available this year? Um, platinum. I didn't see. Actually, to be honest, I didn't see that. I seen gold was it. Gold and silver. That's a good point. Yeah, I think we'd a bit. I think we'd roughly a bit 20, 26 platinum members, and I think. By the time you had to do, because we did take them away, so I think, and I'm not sure, because mm. I spoke to Sam earlier, but I didn't speak to him about the platinum, but I think they maybe dropped that. Um, but yeah. I do appreciate if you can just get the gold one. Um, but if it's Sam's listening to this, Sam can maybe send me a text. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to click you guys off, so I can't see you in text. No, I'll, just, no I, well, I would just be able to... Just can you still hear me? Yeah, you can still hear me. I'll yeah, just text, text away, mate. Text away. Text yeah. away. Get him in the chat. Freaking crossbar capers on YouTube. And that way you can freaking listen to everything and just message you new. There you go. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, Andy, that's, that's great, mate. And that's what, it's, that's what it's about. I don't understand why people are bitching and whinging about discounts and stuff like that. It, just pay the money. It hasn't been a problem every other year. Let's just do it. You know, the club needs us, the fans, more than ever. You know, no, so... You do. You know, it's just one of those things, you know. Jeez. How, how do you think? You're whinging, we're whinging about 25% discounts. Think of the pay cuts and everything else that friggin' the players have had to take. Everything that's happened. Coaches leaving, well, everything else. It's, so the salary cap, or just on that, the salary cap used, was 3.2 million. Um, and the distribution was 3.2 million. <laughs> this year, the distribution will be 1.7 million and the salary cap 2.1. So. All the clubs are up for another four hundred grand just to cover the salary cap. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that's another it's another thing for the clubs, and obviously, yeah, but the separation talks are ongoing. That should be happening by the end of the month, and then the clubs will own the league under the jurisdiction of the FFA. But you know, that's another four hundred grand that um, for the clubs to cough out just to get this salary cap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, another question in there is obviously in regards to movement. Obviously, we've seen Brisbane obviously move to the Dolphins and stuff like that. Um, is there possible talk more more games at smaller venues or stuff like that, or is it just still? You know? No, no, it's still we've got another year left at the stadium, and the relationship's great. Um, we have we have put in for one game away from home, but we've not had that approved yet. So we have, well, I remember a few years ago, we went to um, Coffs Harbour. Coffs Harbour, yeah. So we have put in for a game away. Um, and that would be a smaller, more boutique stadium if we get it approved, but that's not been approved yet. Um, yeah. So, but I know in Dolphin, like, I know Brisbane brought their 
yeah. their prices down. I think yeah. their cheapest price is 195 bucks. But them going for Suncorp to Dolphin is saving them an absolute fortune. That's why they could do a reasonable pay, but they're still more expensive than ours because they're going to a 10,000 seat stadium. Yeah. And the council probably doing them a deal to be at the stadium. Hmm. Yeah, um, the Matildas also lost to the Jets under 15, so there you go. Um, oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's another good one. Any plans on growing Bay 1 and the active support any further from what it is? Yeah, we would love Especially. to work and work in with you guys, or the guys to make that happen. It makes such a difference. Like last Absolutely. year when it tailed off, yeah. um, the active support makes huge difference. And when we had... I remember Melbourne, when we beat Melbourne City in the semi-final, I think 19,000 were there. Um, mm-hmm. One of the City players after the game just said um, when we'd scored the goal, I think it was when Riley scored that goal, and the crowd just came out, he said, the crowd beat us. The crowd just done us. Um, so it was um, that. It does make a difference. And Sam's just got back to me. Mm-hmm. If we can offer the extras like the way trip, we will have a platinum add-on, so we will offer platinum upgrades yep. when we have the draw, if we can fit enough in. So the platinum, the platinum um, isn't on at the moment, but once we know the draw, yeah. we will it will go up online. To, I can't remember they can upgrade to the platinum extras, the way game and the dinner and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Twenty. Th- oh, Hayden, very good. Actually, that's, I was only talking to um, who was I talking to that? I think it was Vandy, Vandy the other day. Actually, twentieth year anniversary. Anything planned? Yeah. No, it was my fortieth wedding anniversary a month <laughs> ago. Um, Honestly, I just that seen that and I thought he was talking about. It. I'm like, you're about twenty. You cut him about twenty years short. <laughs> no, nah, the the main focus is to make sure we've got a twentieth year, and that's exactly. basically been my focus for the last year is to have make sure. We are still going strong and we're going to be competitive and there'll be a team in Newcastle. So basically a lot of that stuff, we're just getting dragged all over the place doing doing the stuff we have to do to make sure we're here. And it's it's pretty hard to juggle yeah. things, especially when your owner, Mr. Martin Lee, has not gave one penny to the club since the 9th of October. I remember it. Yeah, yeah. A, year, a year past a year past in October. So um, it makes it pretty hard and we're juggling things and Robin Peter to pay Paul and I know um, I know the fans can't see that kind of stuff behind the scenes. They just want to hear all the good stuff but Mm -hmm. there's sometimes there's not a lot of good stuff. We we have got by and everybody been paid up to date. The players super was a bit behind. It's fully paid up to date. Um, all the holiday leaves paid up to date. Everything is paid up to date. So we've done, we've done the right thing. Yeah, correct. Um, what do we got here? Thoughts on who might fill the major league sponsor spot? So any major sponsor? Obviously... Yeah, no. Well, we've actually um, hopefully getting a draft draw at the beginning of next week. Something just came through. Yeah. So, um, so we actually have had an offer but there's a legal issue going on with someone um and we've had uh we have had an offer for the front of shirt sponsor yes but Beautiful. it's depending on something is being yeah there's it's confident but somebody has yeah. made us the offer subject to getting the approval of something happening in Newcastle and it's now been challenged. They won and it's now been challenged. So depending on when that challenge is and what happens at the court, we'll decide. But we are hopeful that when new owners do come into the club, that they'll be bringing much added um, contacts in as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Elliot, classic. Google yeah. says... Andy, I'll have to fix that at some point. Google says Daniel Sturridge is still um, still a free agent. <laughs> okay, give him a pie and a coke. There's a sign. Actually, but... <laughs> actually that's uh, Hayden brings up a decent one as well. Uh, considering that Martin hasn't really put any pennies into the club in a while, what's his relationship with the club like been since then? No, no, I speak. I more speak to Kenny, the guy who works for. He's like one of his managers. He speaks 
good English. Yep. Because um, you can imagine a Chinese guy speaking Chinglish and me trying to speak Chinglish with a Scottish accent is pretty <laughs> difficult. So Martin, I hadn't spoke to Martin for a wee while, but I just go through Kenny at the moment because we're just going through the sale of the club. So I'm just yeah. dealing with Kenny. Um, so he's he's on touch on WeChat, but he's, he's basically clocked off to the club, waiting in the sale, and then move on. <laughs> yeah. I think it was probably the one thing I thought you know, I would have liked to obviously again his English isn't crash hot but still like a little something you know just something just say look guys apologies um, apologies or you know thank you, know, you I've enjoyed my time at the club it's now time to unfortunately do everything yeah it, it would have been good yeah, again it's something like thank you thank you Laurie for working <laughs> so hard um, <laughs> can we get some money Martin no cannot pay you money Okay, thank you, Martin. Good night. And that's that. <laughs> so, freaking, um, buddy, freaking Trump, Trump's finished up. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the new bloke can open a few things and get some money through for him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Vandy is a noob on Twitch. Vandy is a noob. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, <laughs> Vandy, money, any questions you got, mate? Um, I heard Taylor Regan has left or is leaving FC. Would you have him back? <laughs> oh, he's, he's left. He's left. He's spoken. We're he's, spoken. he's not. He's not coming back to Australia. I'll put. I'll leave it at that. Um, what I got? Andy, Andy Roberts could make a cameo appearance for the twenty year celebration. I bet he could. He'd be itching. He's he's ready yeah, to go. Know. The general. Get yeah, the general. Boss. The general. Friggin' yeah. congratulations to him taking up the gig over there at friggin' Lampton. Yeah. Friggin, um, I think, well, can't remember what he's done there. I think it's the general manager or something like that over there at the Eagles. Um, they'll be the best. They'll be the best dressed team in the league anyway. Oh. <laughs> I've seen his photo on Facebook. I literally sent him a message. I said, I had to look twice and see who the hell that friggin' was. So I've never seen him outside of a suit. It friggin' spun me out. Uh, how is Benny's stress leave? Must be very Benny, tough. Benny, stress uh, leave. Ah, uh, uh, Benny, yes. Big Benny. Um, big ups, obviously. Friggin' the kit. I, think, I believe he's talking about the kit. The kit man, Mr. Ben. Um, no, he said, how is Bernie's stress oh, leave? Oh, Bernie. I thought he said Ben. I'm like, what? Oh, I'm, saying, I'm not on stress leave, but Bernie is. Oh, Bernie, Bernie. Is st- ben, Bernie's on stress leave? Bernie or Bernie's on stress leave? Did you not yeah, read that? No. Nah. Bernie's on medical, his certificate says medical reasons. And we can't go into, um, like, that's confidential with the cool. players. Oh, but yeah. he's obviously he's obviously not training. Yeah. And, um, you know, I deal, I talk to the PFA every day. We're doing the right thing. Um Obviously, Bernie was not happy the coaches left, neither was anybody, but they left. And what he should have done was put a clause in his contract saying if the coaches left, he could leave. But he, he, um, he's contracted, and I've just said, I've just always kept saying that he's contracted and um, he'll be staying at the club. But it becomes a time. Yeah. He has, he can, if an overseas club comes in, but all the windows are shut, he can go. but Domestically, he's under contract. Yeah, yeah. Brent, Brent, my apologies. And he's, to us and he's not training. He has not trained since last a week past Thursday. Oof. Jeez. Well, I was always told, friggin', from obviously non-professional point of view, but yeah, stress, stress, stress leave is not the way to go out because <laughs> it doesn't look good no. when you go for another gig. Um. Anyway, we'll move on from that. Yeah, but Brent Anderson yes, was the Brent, one. Brent Anderson is a great. Have we got a new kit man? Who have we got a new kit man? I can't believe we got, we've let him let him go from yeah. the kit management role into a into that a freaking war he was, He's been at me for over a year, so we've now made a job from. He's now looking after football matters for the academy, still doing the travel and all that stuff for the first team. So the wee man's in the office. Um, I asked him if he's going to turn up in a shirt and tie, but every day this week he's been in his training gear, his shorts and shirts. They said that's all he's got. He said he hasn't got a shirt and tie. So um, <laughs> he's in the office now. He still he helped out at the game yesterday with Andy. Andy mm. was the masseur who was in at the club last year yeah. and came in as a volunteer for a while. So he stepped up and doing the kit and doing massaging that as well. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. No, that's good. He's... Um... He's been around the club for freaking donkeys. It's good on him. Um, what do we got? Since we have no money, what is your opinion on pushing a bunch of youth boys through? Well, we've got 
there are a lot of youth boys training with the first team just now because we've got 16 signed players mm. and we've got three, four, three or four scholarship boys. Our youth team players, there are three or four of them and they were on the bench yesterday but never come on. But yeah. the we've got one boy, um, Archie Goodwin, um, yeah. he's 15, turning 16 in December. He'll be offered a scholarship. He's been outstanding. He came in training with Carl when we came back for the break. Yeah. yeah. And he did really well and he stepped up. He's you would have no no idea that um he was a fifteen year old. He came on he came on the second half, the last twenty, twenty five minutes yesterday and did okay against the Manners. Yeah. Um, Laura, uh, Ben, was there one up the top there a little bit in, in regards to young about members sixteen, fifteen? Oh, yeah, You're Camo right. comes in with, is 15 or 16 the oldest you could be for a junior ticket? My family has doubts about going due to COVID concerns, but we still want a membership. Um, I will just text Sammy and ask that question. There we go. Um, how are you, Mary? Well done. Love bagpipes. Welcome. As I said, guys, we do appreciate um, Laurie for jumping on while he's quickly sending that through. Any other quick questions here? As I said, we'll quickly get an answer from him in regards to the members, uh, owners and stuff like that at the very end. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Vandy <laughs> wants to know who you want for round one, Laurie. Um, who's who's in the signing market? Who, who's the team that you want? Who hasn't gone into the, the market that I think it would be nice. It would be nice to get the Wanderers at home, I think. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah? That'd yeah, nice. I think so. I can think that. Think. Yeah. I think That's, that's I it. think there's the, a few people would like to say hello to Carl. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, 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 I was literally, that's one, number one, absolutely. I'd be keen for that. Round one, edit um, oh, I'd be I'd be keen for that one during the week of Christmas and New Year, where I, yeah. And, yeah. Where I can fly from Melbourne to yeah. Newcastle to go and enjoy that. I'd take round one friggin' Western United away. I'd, I wouldn't mind going to a, being able to yeah, go to yeah, a, I'd take Western away. Being able to go home, go to a game round one, that'd be good. Um, <laughs> bad, if, we, bad, if we get Wanderers round one card, we'll need protection. <laughs> under, Not our job to provide it. Under 16s is junior, so if he's 15, he's still a junior. There you yeah. go. 15, still a junior. Just there tell you. him to make sure he shaves the beard when he comes in. <laughs> COVID, Vandy, COVID protection, yeah, he'll, he'll need some protection. The concessions Bloody while they are a student at school and uni. So there, there you go. go. There you go. Um, it's been interesting, obviously, bloody you'll talk, talk, obviously, we've got McCarthy. It's been said that, obviously, we've got MacArthur yep. um, pre-season there at Maitland. See the see the yep. bike they picked up today or last, yeah, last night, the Spanish friggin' maestro, 33, played a couple of games for Spain. They're doing all right. They're freaking getting some... They've recruited really well. They've recruited well. They're going to have a good side, I think. Freaking... Um, the, the old boys. The over-35s, almost. Dad's army. Dad's army, that's it. So the kickoff, the kickoff time at Maitland's, we've asked for quarter past five, but FFA are saying that's a wee bit too. So we're going back and forward for 4.45 to 5.15 at the moment. So once we've got it confirmed, they're worried because the lights at the showground in Maitland down. They're, only, they're less than 200 um, lux. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's not dark to be eight, but we are saying it's not an issue. So um, that's we'll have that confirmed through the week. But yeah. between 4.45 and 4.15. Very good. Yeah. Uh, be sure to jump on and subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us on Twitch as well, guys. Uh, there was one there. Where did it just go? It was a good one. Uh, despite results... Uh, no, no, it's not it. Sorry. Where is it? How's the squad looking for yeah, pre-season? Yeah, that's one. There you go. Yep, so that. All right, so how's the squad looking for pre-season? Are we looking good in front of goals as we didn't score against the coast the other day? No, we... At training, the boys... Obviously, the boys have trained well. They've came back fitter than the same stage last season. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, first half, I think Lewis had one save. And I don't think Barry Getty had a save. We had a couple of wee chances. They were the better team in the first 20 minutes and then we were the better 25 to half time. Second half we made some changes and Noah James went in goals and never had a save to make but they caught us twice on the break and we probably had 
big Valentino you for Western United could have scored a hat trick. Jimmy Brocky missed the sitter. Um, young Archie Goodwin, the young boy, missed the sitter. No, there were a few, a few sitters missed yesterday and a few good chances. So, Roy, Roy was Roy played Costa Petrados and um, Brocky up front in the first half. Right. And then we, when we brought on um, Valentino, things changed a bit, and we had dominated um, dominated a lot of the the game and got caught in the break twice. Yeah, the Western boys did mention they weren't exactly happy about Valentino leaving. <laughs> yeah, he's a lovely boy. Like he's um, lovely boy. He fit in really well, and again, he's he's training um, at the moment because when the guys when the guys. Um, we get asked about signings. Well, because of the situation the club's in at the moment, we can't actually sign any players yeah. or sign the coach until the ownership. Yeah. So we've got a few boys training at the club, um, subject to the new owners coming in. So yeah. then, then yeah. like, we've got obviously um, we've got a few of those that we're looking at as well. So so that's the situation. So a lot of people, oh, when's the new signings? We can't actually make them just now because of your situation. Mm. So thanks very much, yeah. Martin Lee. <laughs> yeah, but but we we also have it on on good authority as well. But that there are some there are players training with the club, with a view of when that ownership does go through, yes. that they will be signed yeah. on contracts. Well, so, I was going to ask about that the young uh, young bloke from Wollongong. He, um, what was his name? Nah, boy? he he came in the young Japanese boy. Came yeah, in, yeah, and he did okay, but yep, he he wasn't any better than what we had. Yeah. He was. Well, he showed a couple of wee glimpses, but he was lovely boy. But I think he was training at um, MacArthur this week. Oh, there you oh. go. Yeah, there you go. I think he was. Uh, what do we got? There's another one there. Sid Fogg. They on board for away. Yep. This year. Yep. Sid Fogg. Sid Fogg. The Jets bus will still be. Still be popping about. Uh, very good. You guys missed my question. Do apologise. Oh, yeah, I've got, I've got that one here. Yep. Is the ethos? Is the ethos Carl seem to have pushing those youth players up still likely to occur without him? So, what youth players is he talking about? Because well, no youth players got pushed up. Yeah, well, that's pretty much it. They Costa, brought in Costa yeah. played, and and Lucas Lucas was one, yeah. and Lucas has done well, and Lucas played. He started off a bit shaky yesterday, but he played. He, he was quite steady through the game. So Lucas, so those boys, it doesn't matter. Like young Archie, good one at fifteen. If mm. like, uh, he'll be playing a lot of game time in preseason friendly games, don't be surprised to see him debut next season. Definitely, or this season coming definitely. So coaches, we're speaking to quite a few coaches, but some of the ones that the potential owners are close to. It's all about young, young. If you're young enough, you're old. You're, you're big enough to play. It doesn't matter. If you're good enough, you'll play. It doesn't matter what age. Hmm. Um. Obviously, what do we got? I think there was in there. Ant- uh, Anthony Burt? Archie Burt. Archie, isn't it? No, the, Anthony. 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 Burt. Anthony Burt. Anthony Burt. Yeah. Yeah. What are they on about there? Yeah, what do you so Berkey, Berkey left the club three years ago. He was in Portugal when Chapless. Yeah, we went over, yeah. Yeah. And, then and then he went to Seattle. He signed with Seattle with Hutch, yep. and mm. with John Hutchison, and then he's he's played in the reserves over there, very highly thought of, and because of COVID and that, he came back a few weeks ago. He done Correct. quarantine and he started training with us on Monday. He never played yesterday because obviously he'd only four days training with us. So yep. he'll be. We're playing Edgeworth next Saturday night at five o'clock at Edgy, so I'd say Berkey will be part of that squad to play against Edgy. It's so funny, guys. Get it's, down there. It's so funny because I was literally—I uh, hadn't even sent you a message. I've know, I know, I know Anthony from when he was freaking about three years of age. I've known him for donkeys. Um, great kid. I knew he was in the country. I knew he was in quarantine and stuff like that. And he was like, "Don't say nothing. Keep it on low profile." There was a few clubs chasing him. There was talk of him going to Perth and um, Central Coast Mariners, obviously, because you know. If he can get close to home in Newcastle, obviously that's sweet. But obviously, it's good to see him. Um, obviously, hopefully, getting a run at Newcastle because he's, he's a great kid. He's no, a great, great kid. kid. He and he's done. Kid. They they speak very highly of him in Seattle. Well, that was it. It's exactly right. He he sort of yeah. From what I've been told, was you know, 
it's obviously an ambition, obviously, to sort of go back. But as you said, with everything going on with COVID and stuff like that, it's, yeah, it's definitely not a place to be going, to be right now. Yeah, not the US. If you listen to Trump, it's going to get solved. They're going to give out free vaccine now, he said. He said wow. that the night. Jesus Christ. Well, there's there's the first one you said as well, guys. Edgy. Edgy. Saturday. Um, is that one behind closed doors? I don't believe so, is it? No. 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 Get so there down there. Got, I'm guessing it'll be all ticket ticket allocation. Um, yeah, stuff. I'm not what? sure. I, I don't know. There'll be yeah. some stuff coming out through the week. We only just arranged it, and um, hmm. we'll, we'll, work, we'll just work in with Warren Mills up at Edgy. I was going to say, is jo- jo- Josh Rose coaching that one, or has he finally had enough? I don't know if it's Rosie or Lee. I don't know if it'll be Rosie or Lee Sterry. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I was funny. I was speaking to him the other week. He was like, oh, you know, good luck in the grand final or whatever it is. He goes, yeah. He goes, it's only about freaking 12 games freaking longer than I thought. <laughs> Chris, thinking? I will buy my membership once I find my key card, lol. Uh, I, can, I might be able to help you with that one, Chris. Where and what time? So where and what time? Um, It'll be it'll be at Edgy, I believe. Yep. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, five, five o'clock. o'clock. Five o'clock. There five you o'clock. go. Uh, Jeff, is it free? No, I doubt it won't be free, guys. It'll be it'll be all ticketed as pretty much from what I heard in the, I think I read in the Newcastle Herald or whatever oh, it other, was. The other thing about membership as well, just thinking of that, the, yeah. the reason, you know, there's a lot when you play a friendly game, there's a lot of cost going even playing a friendly game, and that's why the members' day we've actually brought a game into that to thank them for last year as well. Yeah. So there's what? another, you know what I mean? It's That's just for members. There's members little things. Only for that that's game. it. There's, there's little, little, little things. Obviously, you know, and again, COVID is still in effect. It's not like it hasn't gone It hasn't gone away. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's great. That everyone can get out and do these things, obviously, in Newcastle and that now. But it's still, you've still got a X amount of people and stuff like that. Yeah, and you're, the still venues be, and you're still going to be cautious. Still got to be cautious. So I, I think Hayden put in there, you know, can we possibly see, like, fan forums, obviously, like he like yeah. did last year. Once, once we get the ownership, they'll definitely yeah. that'll be one of the first things that they want. Because why have a, a you know that means Josh? I'm I'm going to call it right now. I want first interview. Bugger MBN News, they can no. get stuffed. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, but you know what that means, Josh, with the fan forum. What's that? Trip to Newcastle for us. Hey, look at that. Maybe. Uh, what do we got? What else have we got? Because we're going to slowly wrap it up now. Because as Laurie said, he's worked his ass off today. He's got he's got a free dinner. Yeah, he's tired. He's, he's got dinner. <laughs> Have there been um, more details about the edgy game posted? No, no, no. They're, no, they're, they'll it's come coming. Out this week. It's coming. <laughs> yeah. Surely live stream that game for Josh. Uh, and ben. I, I had one here from before. I can't bloody find it now, though. While Ben's quickly um, doing that one, while Ben's finding yeah. that, I'll just say, obviously, are there any. Or have you got pretty much a, um, any more friendlies and stuff like that lined up between now and start of the season that we, that yes. we may not know about? So there'll be. Um... So you've got Edgy, MacArthur, then the weekend of the 5th, we'll just play a bounce game amongst ourselves because we try to get a game up in Tamworth. But we're looking that the W League girls will play Sydney FC up there. We're just waiting to confirm that. That's not been confirmed yet. We'll have a game on We'll have a game on the 12th of um, December. That will be in a regional area that I can't... The launch will be... On Tuesday, Tuesday morning it will be announced yep. by that local council. So um, I'll give you a clue. It's Brisbane Roar, so you can work out where's close. There we go. Right, I've been... found my one, and yep. this one, all I want is a simple yes and or no. And then the Wellington, sorry, then the Wellington. Yeah, the Wellington. Wellington. The end, yeah. This one's just a simple yes or no. Is the club benefiting from the Joey Jantness loan deal financially? Um. Yes. Right, there's your answer, Hayden. Not not greatly, but yes. There we go. I've got. There a, you go. I've, I've I've got a basic one. I mean, because I haven't heard much about it, and we had him on the show um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, was voted Player of the Year thanks to all the fans who voted for the for the awards night we did. Um, Stevie Eugene, how how's he going? Obviously, there was talk there that he Great. wanted he wanted to yeah, leave he, and stuff. How's he going? Before the season started, he did come out and um, he's been outstanding at training and he has been great. Just back, as soon as he came back yeah, start training, it was it was all fine. So he yeah. he played the ninety minutes yesterday, um, and it was fine. And yesterday we had just 
obviously Matty Miller's on loan just now. Yeah. Uh, he scored the other night there, so mm. we're missing him and Bernie because of Bernie's sick. And we missed Angus, Johnny Katrumbus, Rami, the boy we've got for um, yeah, Rami Nazarene, yeah, mm. and then O'Connor as well. So we had all those boys missing. Oh, so yeah, they're on, um, they're on young Joey's duty, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. can't play the they'll be back. Um, well, they got MacArthur on Tuesday night, and then well, no, Matt, that... no. I've just no. had a message. For, I've just had a message from somebody who is listening. I'll, I'll not tell your name, but just so we can remind that supporters can pay off their memberships in the monthly monthly manner. Correct. So, Correct. Yeah. As I so, said, yeah, day Matty ones. Miller, just to fill you in, and Matty Miller, he um, he did his hammy a few weeks ago. So he, he came. He started the other night in the cup. We if. Shrewsbury want to buy them. We need to know. They need to notify us at the beginning of December. Yep. If not, he'll be back at the beginning of January. So he might miss the first game, yeah. but he'll go because he's out of contract at the end of the season. He's adamant he wants to go overseas. So if they take him, we get a transfer fee from. Have they given yep. you any indication of like thought, thoughts on him and stuff like that? Have they like come back to you saying, "Oh, you know, he's no, nah, no, yeah, I've actually sent an email to the CEO today." Yep. Um, he's a Scottish guy who lives, oh, he's from roughly the same place as I come from. But he, um, the 1st of December, they'll notify us if they want to keep him or, ex- or let him come back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what have we got here? How long did we have Joey sign for if he's loaned for the season? Yeah, but another, still has... One more. We signed him, extended him for three years. So this is us. Mm-hmm. This year will be second. So we've still got him for one year. The reason yeah. we loaned him, because the independent A League will start. It could be that the A League clubs will be able to transfer players, so then that way we could get a transfer fee if he does well this season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And let's be honest, as I said, as I said, I've said to Ben and everyone else, so it's you know, if he doesn't want to be here, you don't want him here. You know what you I mean? Yeah, like, right. it's just you know, I mean, he's for whatever reason and whatever, good on him. Um, good luck to him and shit. But you know, if he doesn't want to be here and he's got ambitions to be somewhere else and laddied up, you don't want him at the club. It's just not good and morale and shit like not good for the boys and stuff like that. Same with Stevie. You know what I mean? Like obviously he was talking about he didn't want to he wanted out and didn't want to rebuild and all this sort of shit. But I sort of as I said I said this to you, Ben. I said once he gets back on the pitch with the boys and they all sort of get back to training and shit, hopefully he's you know, it just sort of he comes more relaxed. He's like, okay, so And that's what he's, he's been he's been, <laughs> you know, out, he's been outstanding. Yeah. Exactly. Fair. Exactly. And that's what he sort of said in our interview as well, you know. He was just he just wanted to get back. You know what I mean? Yes. He, just, he just wants to get back and get into it. So, um, right, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna quickly wrap up. There's a few obviously questions which we've held off till now. Um, obviously, we've so you've got the fixtures, guys. Obviously, there's definitely some games that have been teed up uh, leading into the start of the season. Um, Western Sydney Wanderers. Obviously, Laurie wants round one, which I'm sure nearly every Newcastle Jets fan would be happy with. Um, no, where, where's the signed at Cambridge? You're, you're months behind, what? Aiden. What? Where's Hulahan not? Like it to come back. Oh, mate, he's he's mine. For months. It's ages ago. And, Wes, <laughs> and his wife had a baby. I was going to say yes. Ago. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, because yeah, obviously yeah, you got yeah. So where's where's has gone? Uh, Ledley has gone. Nah, all but non-existent now. Um, that's pretty much it, isn't it? The, the rest is all self-explanatory. Because Joe Ledley, I don't think really much was said about Joe Ledley that I can remember. But we nah, can't he see won't him. come. He now. won't come back. Laurie. Yeah, but a lot of like we know the fans were hammering us and they're going on about the players were lost. Ledley started at one game, I think. Yeah. And a couple of sub appear a few sub appearances. Wes was injured most of the year, yeah. He came back and he was great in those few games. Yeah. Um Matty Miller, yeah, he might be back. You know, we we lost a few players. We lost Bobby. Bobby was missed and Oh, everybody wishes him well, and um, his broken leg, he broke his oh, double leg. Yeah. yeah, double leg break. Yeah, and, and, and like, we keep in touch. The wee man would love to come back. He misses Newcastle. He misses the fans. He just wishes he was here at the moment. I can't and he believe even, he, went where he, he was went. even. He was even trying to get his rehab done out here. Oh, well. Oh, uh, really? So, yeah, no, so, you know, I said with 16 players signed, that's including Miller and that. So, obviously... And Bernie, so that could change a wee bit, and we're open to bring in players. But yeah. when the ownership sort it, that's when we can officially sign the players. Yeah, that's it. I said there's plenty of room there to bring players in. Obviously, yes. Donaghy's gone for the moment. And um, Donaghy, like Donaghy, we got a good yeah. loan fee. Yeah, we think we've re-signed Bogues. 
We think we've got plenty of cover. Johnny Katrumba's Bogues, Lockie Jackson's backfield training. You know, we saved. We we've knocked 1.1 million off our salary cap to get down to the new salary cap. So that's why Demi went. That's why we looked at Donahue. We got money. Yeah. Can we cover from? Yeah, we can. And that's why we offload it. Mm. You know, these boys. So there are business reasons behind it because we had to get the salary cap down to 3.2, which we spent last year. To two point one, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think I think Matt Vandenberg will um, agree with me here. Um, I hear I hear Andrew Hull's um, free. Yeah, no, uh, he's, he's overseas. Much... He went to <laughs> Europe. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vandy, we were chat about it the other day. He's like, "Where's Where's Hull at these days? Like, Floating about somewhere." Um, <laughs> on, on Tinder, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's probably on Tinder. Down at window. Uh, what have we got? <laughs> Ah, uh, what have we got? There was one there. Just honestly, do you think Newcastle is cursed with bad luck, whether it be injuries, signings, money, etc.? Nah, yes, it, it is. It's a Newcastle thing, well, mate. Forever. Well, seven. you look at you look at Wes Hulahan and you look at Vargas. You, that was bad luck early oh, in the season, Vargas. and they were both class players. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So anyway, we're gonna wrap. We're gonna start wrapping up. There is one serious question though. Um, I have low for you. Yep. Has Arroyo asked for his watch back? <laughs> his, watch, his watch stopped working. Like it, it came on because Dean's when I brought a bar and I saw it and I put it on my wrist and then it started working and I wore it for oh a few weeks and then it just stopped again. So thanks Arroyo for a few weeks. Um, my wife did try it. It was worth about seven hundred bucks. Oh. She checked it online, so I thought I'd done well out Arroyo, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I never, I never, he still, he still owes us a few parking tickets as well. We still got the fines coming in for FFA for his high and die car. So, oh, if, oh. I, if I still had the watch working, I maybe I paid the fine for him. <laughs> yeah, you pawn it in somewhere, mate. Someone will. I was about to say, what's the, what do Israel use as currency? We might have to, I've, I've we might have to work anything. out the exchange rate. Uh, no idea what to use over there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Rightio. So we're gonna get we're gonna get into it, guys. A game which is gonna get as quickly as possible. Whatever you can tell us, Laurie. Um, much you know, is muchly appreciated. The first one, obviously, before we get into the owners, is the coaching scenario. Um, yep. obviously, straight up, how many roughly coaches are we are you looking at? Um, you know, is there a short list? Is there a shorter no, list? There's a short list. The short list with potential owners. And we have spoke to a few, um, so yeah, that's. But and it's all subject. They cannot come in until the ownership is sorted. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. Uh, what do we got? Obviously, before we go into the owners, it, well, you can't really answer that one. You can't suggest news until we find out in regards to what the go is with the owners. I did hear somewhere in one of the articles or something about an eight million dollar possible, eight million dollar um takeover or something like that which is obviously that was on that was on the world game yeah yeah a lot less obviously than what hang on we'll put that in air quotes (laughs) yeah no no they're pretty good the world game they're they're pretty they're pretty on top of it um obviously the eight million dollar takeover which is obviously a lot less than what martin lee wants um so with that eight million dollars of supposed takeover bid what's happening with it how how close are we um, and what's the likelihood out of a hundred percent or zero of getting an owner before round one? Um, very, very good. Beautiful. Very, very good. Yeah. Good. That's good. Very good. Hopefully, with a few weeks to spare. Yep. Nah, no, sweet as. As I said, guys, it's, it's one of those things, and you know we're not going to sit here and friggin' bash Laurie about it and friggin' no, no, come, no, on, come, it, on, come it, on, come on, come on, come on. And Josh, just it's like when you buy a house and you buy yeah. a business, it takes actually a while for the paperwork to go through. 100%. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, in, in the world of business, there are these things called NDAs, which are called non disclosure agreements. Yep. If Laurie has signed one of those, he is not allowed to utter a single syllable. Yep. Otherwise, yeah, exactly. he gets in trouble by law. Yeah. And then exactly. we don't get an owner. Yeah, and we've probably lost a seat here. Um, and we don't want that. Yeah. So. And we don't want that. I suppose that's another question. Yeah. Go Would on, the man. potential new owners be looking to keep you on a CEO, Laurie? Um, yes. Yeah. Only because, personal opinion, they'd be fucking stupid if they did let you go. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a bloody up. No, nah, they, no, nah, nah, they, they do. Um, definitely, yeah, no, they, they have, they've told, yes, they've said they definitely do, but 
I've saw, I've saw things change. Football changes very quickly, <laughs> as you know. Yes, it does. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, go ask Brad, go ask Brad Kalina if he was frigging, if he thought he was coaching round one of frigging. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's dirty and you know it. <laughs> oh, man, he loved, that was the, probably the, if you haven't seen that interview, guys, go and ch- go check that out, the one we done with Brad Kalina, absolute classic, absolute legend, God, he's a good bloke, absolutely hammered the frigging supporter base, hammered the frigging, um, Called yeah. out a fan on the podcast. Called out an ex, our ex, um, friggin' yeah, regiment leader of the squadron and everything else. It was great. Um, he, he, let's just say he was very upset. He was mightily pissed. Oh yeah, but, anyway, but anyway. it was good to square the ledger. Mill, Millaby special. We'll just leave it at that. Anyway, um, oh, anyway, there it is, mate. So what we got? Camo, massive appreciation to Laurie. Done a great job in tough times. How much sleep have you had, mate? Not a lot. Well, I'm going to leave you with a story before I go because my wife go. is, she's got a lucky dress on. I think she bought this dress when the Jets got to grand final, royal blue, my Rangers <laughs> colours, but she's, she's looking not too bad tonight. <laughs> um, but because I've always got all this shit going about my head, I've been on sleeping tablets for a wee while now so I can sleep. But one day I got down i go down for a swim in the morning cycle down swim cycle back my wife phoned me at seven and said guess what you did what did you do and went i thought i'd blocked her car in she said no you've pissed all over the dining room table i went no i've not she said i I just missed my computer and then a few weeks ago she found me standing up in the bath and she said what are you doing i said i'm standing in the bath and i can't remember a thing and then I think last week I peed all. I got up for a pee and peed all over the ensuite floor, <laughs> and I can't remember a thing. I cannot remember a thing. So if anybody invites me over to stay, it makes now we lock the bedroom door because it makes a noise when you open it. So I can't wander about the house. Well, I'm, definitely not, I'm definitely not offering the bed in my studio. They're not worth thousands of dollars worth of computers in here. Yeah, it I, better, I better start wearing pajamas in case I wander out in the street. <laughs> <laughs> so yes i'm sleeping a lot better now thanks but medication is helping me so once the sales all going through i'll go back to normal yeah absolutely Obviously, we might just... see the we might see the return of the pink suit hey. uh, the pink suit no, the pink suit is a good cause four thousand eight hundred bucks for breast cancer during the game that day yeah. so I'll, I'll do anything for um a good cause Actually, talking about suits, Hoffy was down at friggin' um, Gentleman's Outfitters, so guys, be sure to get down there and get all your suits needs as well down off Andy as well. Yeah. Um, what have we got yeah, there? There's a couple in here. Yeah, there's a quick couple in here, obviously. Just props to Laurie for bringing a lot of the lads through the youth team uh, who are now coming into the first team. Obviously, little a few, there's heaps of thanks in here for you, mate. Obviously, Again, you're, no, great. No, she you're doing a killer job, um, honestly, and I'm glad it's you and not I'm me. I'm happy to have you. <laughs> well, it's been the, it's been the hardest year of mine's and Christine's life, I can assure you. But we're going, we're getting through there. We're getting to the end, and um, we're going to go away for a week and have a wee break once Good. it all happened. But but now that will be the season will be starting soon, so um, I'll spoil her in other ways. Absolutely. Um, obviously, thanks, mate. Muchly appreciated for having you on. Um, again, guys, hopefully that clears up a few questions in regards to you know memberships and stuff like that. We'll be around for a little bit after this, obviously, to have a quick chat. But the questions, the questions for fancy, and I see a lot. Is the Jets going to be here? Well, we're taking memberships, and they're going yeah. to be a draw out in the next week or two. And Newcastle that, Jets that will definitely business. be on that draw. Yeah, that's exactly. Hopefully, it. against the Wanderers, the first game. There you go. Exactly right. Actually, I was talking to a mate the other day. He's a Sydney fan. I actually asked him who he, who his CEO was. He couldn't even tell me. He knew you were though. <laughs> <laughs> quite quite yeah. bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, who's the CEO? Oh. Who, who runs Sydney FC? He's like, oh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Laurie runs the Jets though. I'm like, yeah, that's exactly right. You know who yeah, Laurie that's is. Right. <laughs> Not nah, too easy, well, mate. Well, well, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy, enjoy uh, fatherhood again. You be nice to the wife. She's, <laughs> I don't envy her. No, oh, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm always nice. Now, nah, thank, thanks very much for jumping on. Take it easy. Enjoy the night, um, and we'll catch up soon. And um, yeah, thanks very much for your time again, as always. Thanks, Cheers, mate. Boys. Take I it easy, mate. Get, I reckon I'm getting lucky tonight as well. Uh, hey, mate. 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 I'll let you know then. I'll let you know when you come back on the podcast. I'll tell you how it went. Mate, just like Rangers, mate. Looking good, brother. Undefeated, eh? I hope, I, oh. Christine just said to me, I hope your first touch is good, so I hope 
<laughs> well, mate, there's a, there's a nice there's a nice photo there in your Facebook inbox if you haven't already seen it of my daughter from this morning. I did see her. I saw her with the Rangers shot on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Can't wait till Stevie G leaves the club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's doing yeah. great things. <laughs> yeah, that would be like Carl Robertson leaving the Jets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Exactly right. Take it easy, mate. Enjoy dinner. Okay. Thanks, boys. See you, legend. Thanks. 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 <clears throat> there it is, guys. Um, yeah, we thank Laurie again. Muchly appreciated for jumping on mm -hmm. to obviously clear up a little bit of information in regards to everything that's happened. Memberships and stuff like that. We'll be around for a little bit. Um, so anything you just want to talk about in regards to the memberships, etc. Um, as we said, this will be the last podcast for about a month. Um, I've no idea what the date is. I think that brings us close to Christmas. So, that will, so we'll probably get what, 14th. So yeah, roughly. So we'll get we'll definitely get one in before Chrissy, but um yeah look guys it's it's that simple hopefully again there's so much crap going on in regards to obviously the ownership the takeovers and stuff like that um it'll happen when it happens let's just let's just get the memberships just on just relax and, yeah it'll happen it'll happen we'll put it this way there's probably two things in the game which you know Laurie's not going to say but you know Laurie's not going to friggin sell the club. Again, it's not his job, obviously, but he's, he's definitely going to be sitting there wanting the best for the club, best for Newcastle, best for the region, best for the town. So he's not going to sell it to a dinky dog friggin' dog's breakfast friggin' ownership and stuff like that. He wants the best for the town. He wants the best for the club. So if it's taken this long, maybe those other friggin' buyers and shit like that weren't the right ones. Maybe they were talking yeah. about moving it out of those Newcastle. Who want it, those who want it will be willing to wait. Yeah, um, thanks to thanks to Luca obviously for whacking a few of these in the chat. Obviously, the, a few of the questions that were answered and stuff like that in the chat for people who may have come in a little bit late. Um, again, if you haven't already, be sure to go and subscribe on the YouTube show. I'd be and go obviously um, follow on the Twitch side as well. It is much. Yeah, we had the Twitch running today. We did a Twitch running today. Thanks to everyone who's jumped in as well. But yeah, what do you want to talk about? What have we got? Um, God, it was rough hearing about Laurie. Sleeping issues, bloke wouldn't have so much on his mind. Absolutely, um, and that's it. You know, friggin', he's flat out. He's again, you know, friggin', it's just chaos, absolute chaos. So you know, you got to give him, give him props. You know, shit. I guarantee you a lot of other CEOs would have walked out friggin' long time ago. Yeah. Um. So the fact that he's still here and everything else, nice, to, nice to see the miso friggin' taking him out for tea. He's probably earned it. He's probably had a friggin'. Hard day, Probably. so... It sounds like he's had a rough couple of... He's had a rough couple of months, let's be honest. Absolutely. So, good on him. Maybe, maybe he gets a leg over. Um, that reminds me, I have, an, I have an update for us. Where is your computer? <laughs> no idea. Um, what have we got? Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend. Lucas, mate, well done. Thanks for jumping in, mate. Muchly appreciated. Same to you. Um, what have you done, Ben? No, just keep going, keep going, keep going. Well, they can it's see fine. Google. They can see everything. Yes, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. All good. No, now, have you guys not... ever seen Archie Goodwin play? Archie Goodwin, I have seen Archie Goodwin play. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Good kid. Good talent. Good talent. He'll, um... It's just, again, there's so many young blokes coming through at the moment. It's good to see. It's so good to see. Anthony Burke, for me, as I said, I've known Anthony since he was a little kid, and he is a weapon. He is a weapon, and honestly... He can feel they are problem solved. What? It know. no longer says Hyundai. Get, get. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. What I've only been doing for the past ten minutes. I literally only friggin'. I, I'm only thinking about that the other week too. I'm sitting there going, friggin', I need to change that. Anyway, um, always. Oh, a I didn't even realise. What have we got there? What have we got? How about we create a chant? For Laurie and sing it loud and proud. But he's got one. He's got one. Laurie's got one. Laurie's got a chant. You haven't you seen it? <laughs> um, I'm watching you I've guys on a big screen. McKenna's magic hat. That's it. <laughs> McKenna's fucking McKenna's magic, magic hat. He wears a magic hat. Magic hat. <laughs> he used to coach the coasties, but then he said fuck that. <laughs> he can't uh, do us to run the club, so that makes it all right. And we're we're in the Premiership, we'll sing this song all night. Oh, <laughs> mate! 
go check it out. We've got it there somewhere. We might freaking... It was like a CEO for like a week before, like, and then he came out with that. There's a video on Facebook. No, I have Oh, man. Josh, did you watch the MPL Grand Final last week? You say thoughts on the game? Yes, I did. It was I a did. cracker. I did. It was a cracker. Absolute friggin' banging game. Um, good on friggin' Josh Rose. He done well. Um, it was a good game. A, good oh, hit man. out. Luke, he's got, he's got a few years to go, Luke. Good hit out. It was a great hit out. Um, what else we got? I'm watching yeah, it was big screen TV. Hey, it's the only way to watch us. I hope it's not too oh, big. Hang on. I can fat. stop recording now. Yes, you can. Uh, what have we got? No, I haven't. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, Merrick, yeah, it's... Yeah, McKinnis, McKinnis Magic. McKinnis Magic. Yeah. He sang it for us. He sang yeah. it for us. I'll try and find it. What have we got? I've known Archie since he was 10. He is such a good kid. And I was so proud when I was told he was training for the Jets and also you now being asked to train with the Australian Joeys. Yeah. I was going to say, I was going to say, he's training with the Joeys. He's training with the Joeys. No, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. He can play. Um, and it's just, obviously... He's going to work. He's going to have to work his ass off because he's in a, working in a position, playing in positions that um, very, very good talent Australians come through. Uh, when will be Josh Cousin be promoted to Adamstown first team? <laughs> yes, yes, me, um, me, me little cousin, me little friggin', me little, me little follower. He's bloody Sprout. legend. Luke, 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 you have no idea. You have no idea how proud I was. Right, it's a massive achievement. Nine years of age. That's huge. Nine years of age. Signs his first contract with the Buds. Happy freaking days. Um, I was not that young. I was about 14, I think. Like, with the MPL side, like 2HD side of things. There was no SAP back then. I was playing for Macquarie Rep. But um, playing played State League with Adamstown, I think it was from 14. So uh, he, he's going well. He's going well. He's, he, he, can, he can score goals for fun, so... I was about to say, Josh, it would now be a good time to talk about our major sponsor. And that's exa- literally literally what I was going with. I was just going to see, read these last year. Laurie is one of the most important people to even be part of the Newcastle Jets. Absolutely. Yeah. Ab- absolutely. Like, there's only, you know, when you, when you think of Newcastle Jets, there's only a couple of people that you really think of. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, I said, Laurie, people, people come and go and players come and go, la di da But obviously, you know, Joel Griffiths will always be remembered as a Newcastle Jet, and obviously one of the one of the greats. Laurie McKinnon will go down as one of the greats. Um, mm-hmm. There's no question about Robbie that. Middleby won't. <laughs> Robbie, Robbie Middleby, fucking flog. Anyway, uh, has more talent. What's that? Has more talent than you. I don't know. <sighs> have you seen Josh take a ball on his chest, turn and shoot? Oh, I don't I know. Have. No, I have. no, no. I have. Completely different, completely different play styles. I, I know that for a fact. He um, put it this way: he's he, he's got a lot more friggin' endure, endurance than I did. Um, I didn't I didn't like to run for shit. He's more than happy to chase down balls. I wasn't. I was. Expect- no, yeah, I want balls to my feet. I want balls to my feet, and I'm not friggin' yeah, running. Nothing's, for- changed, nothing's changed with you there. No, hundred <laughs> percent. And it wouldn't change even if I could friggin' do the hundred meters in friggin' nine seconds flat. I still wouldn't be chasing balls. I'm telling you, now, it's just the way that I. No, nah, I don't chase for shit. I don't chase shit. If the ball's gone five metres in front of me, that's too far. Anyway, um, Josh and Ben, if the first game of the season is at home, no matter who we play, will you be able to come up? Well, technically we will be able to come up because obviously the restrictions will be lifted and everything else, so we can get up there. The fact that it's on the 27th, put it this way. If the game is on the 27th, 28th, 29th, before New Year's, I will be there. Because I'll be up in Newcastle for Christmas. So, I'll be there. I'll be there. If I get, if it gets to round one and I get told that the freaking game's in Melbourne, I'll be pissed. <laughs> and I'll be telling mum that I'll be coming up for New Year's. Um, so, yeah. What do we got? The bombs. Oh, yeah. It's because you can't run. Brandy, mate, maybe you just take a walk, son. Uh, I'm not here about you. What do we got? Go Edgeworth Eagles, but I can't stand Josh Rose. Nah. Actually, actually, thanks to friggin' um Frickin um, um bloody uh, Oh shit. Um Chatty. Chatty. Well jeez cross got his name. Thanks to Chatty. Chatty. Thanks to Chatty, I got me Edgeworth Eagles stubby holder the other day. Oh, thanks yeah. to Chad. Legend mate, and we cheat the champions one. Don't support Edgeworth, but I'm a stubby holder collector, so I'll take it. Um 
Need some help. What are we gonna shut up? Uh, when will Josh sign for Liverpool to help with the centre back injuries? Nah, not a chance, mate. Not a chance, mate. We've we've got mate. We've got Milner. Are you freaking play anywhere? We well, will freaking strap on the gloves if he needs. Yeah. Mate, I'm not worried as a Reds fan until Milner goes down. When Milner goes down, mate, we're in big trouble. Uh, Carl the Snake must be still here in Newcastle as my husband saw him walking. Oh, yeah. Another house. He's here. He's, 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 no, he's, he's, he's living in Newcastle. And, and he and Miller will be exactly the same. They'll just commute. Yeah. No, yeah they're, 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 both, they're living in Newcastle. They're living in Newcastle. Yeah. They're not going to move. They're not going to move. And uh, Nicolopoulos, remember him. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, Nick Theo. <laughs> Nick Theo. There was one up up earlier as well, guys. I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't going to ask him about friggin' you know who are possible shortlists and stuff like that because let's be honest, the list is friggin' god. He's under so, NDA. He can't. Yeah, so goddamn long and shit like that. But Pappas would have to be there. Oh yeah. And I would be more than happy if he signed up. More than happy. Happy as happy as Larry if he signed on. But as I said, guys, be sure to get your memberships. Yeah. You know we've gone way off track. This Luke friggin' threw us off track, but that's what he does. Um, Jesus. Bloody Luke. But yeah, as I said, be sure to get your memberships, guys. Stop whinging about it. Stop whinging about your discounts and stuff like that. Just get it. Just pay it. If it's a little bit... Again, if they'd up the price, I wouldn't be bitching about it. Just pay it. It's great. I live in Melbourne and still pay for a full season membership. See, I don't. Come on. I never have. Come on. Like, shit. But again, I pay for two, so... And I don't do it. I don't do it for... Well, yeah, Chrissy's got one. Chrissy's gone. I mean, Chrissy's gone. Um, but she's only got the, she's got the away day, the interstate one. Um, yeah, same. Yeah, um, but it's it. Still get all the perks and benefits. I don't do it for the I don't do it for the games, guys. I do it for the club because friggin' the club needs the fans. Without the fans, there is no club. It's that oh. simple. Um, I purchased purchased Jets membership yesterday. Go on, you Matty. Josh, would you be happy if it was Ange Postecoglou? It won't be Ange Postecoglou. Um, Friggin' rule that out right now. Um, yeah, never. Not gonna happen. <laughs> not, not gonna happen, lad. Not gonna happen, mate. No way. He won't leave China. Ugh. Well, Japan. You mean Japan? Is. Whatever. He won't leave. He won't leave. Um, I hope the new coach is not Paul Ocon. It won't be Paul Ocon. It won't be Paul Ocon. It won't, it won't be Paul Ocon. Um, it will not be Paul Ocon. There's so many options, guys, with the coaching scenario. Pappas, I'd love to see Pappas. Um, yeah, I, I think Pappas is. A I'm, run. I'm not a massive. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be upset. I'm not a fan of Aloisi, but friggin' shit. Neither am I. He would, he would come. You know, he would come cheap, um, and he can do the job. He just needs a gig. He can do. He can do. <laughs> he can do the job. He can do the job. Yeah, you know what I mean, like shit. Uh, how is club going to earn money if that fan, if the fans don't sign up? Well, as Laurie said in there, Luke, for the, the the memberships. You know, it's not a great deal. One point five million dollars in memberships, roughly. But that's nothing. It's nothing for a club. One point five million dollars. That that'll shit. Think how big the club is and stuff like that, and the training facilities and shit like that, and what we've got to pay for the stadium and stuff like that. It's not even enough to cover any of that. So you know, uh, I'd love to see Hans when he's not busy with the Ollie Roos. Oh, Arnold. Yeah, not happening. Yeah, not happening. Um, see, these th- those coaches won't come back to the A-League. You know what I mean? I think that they would take up international gigs before they come back to the A-League. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if they can't get gigs overseas, you know. Um, there's so many of so many of them as well. Friggin before, but as I said, before we go any further, obviously, again, Ben, has brought, ben brought it up. Check out Ben Specs, everybody. He's finally got them. There it is, thanks to the major sponsor. They're blue, they're blue on the inside, <laughs> like in, inside the frames and stuff. They're actually really good. Aside from the fact that I ha- I'm not used to them because it's my first time actually like yeah. wearing them properly, so they are giving me a little bit of a headache. But yeah, that's no, you- that's normal with glasses anyway when you yeah. don't wear them. That's it. That's exactly it. Mine did. Um, but yeah, big shout out to Gabriel Mar, optometrist down there at Jasmine. Be sure to go in see the guys. Oh shit, I forgot to ask Laurie about those friggin' prizes and the shirt and shit. Anyway. I'll ask him later. Uh, no, it's uh, not for discussion here. Anyway. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. No, keep going. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no, I just looked at myself twice. 
Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, be sure to go check those guys out down there at Gabriel Mar Optometrist. Um, yeah, as I said, yeah, they're getting great. They do great stuff down there. I believe Claire Coelho's going down there to get her eyes done at some point soon. So get on it, guys, guys and girls, get on it. What do we got? Uh, looking sharp, Ben. Yeah, mate. Uh, not Gary Van Egmont the third time. No, no. Gary won't come back for a third time. No way. No, no uh, he's not. That's good. Yeah. Look, at the end of the day, it's whatever. I think. I think at the. I think at the moment, we just need a coach. And quite frankly, I don't care who it is. I'd be happy to see them just sign on a one-year deal. Yeah. And, and let's just get the ownership sorted and everything else and everything done. Let the owners. Let, let the owners come in. Like work it all out. Well, not even make the call, but I mean, like, just sort of a they'll do for now, 12-month contract. Yeah. Um, yeah, if someone with a bit of experience and stuff like that, la da and just go, right, we'll sign you on a 12-month contract, we'll get back to you. We're just going to fucking sort the club out. You know, I just want the, yeah. club, I just want the club to come in, get them to work on frigging the facilities and everything else and what they can bring to the club and what they can bring to the town and all this sort of shit, and then go back to the coaching scenario. Once I'm everything else is done. I'm available. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd say there'd be a lot of people would be. A lot of people yeah, would have. be. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, as I said, guys... I hope, have a hope... gig in the middle. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I, mate, freaking beautiful. Jump all over that shit. So, yeah, as I said, guys, hopefully Laurie answered a few of those questions. You guys have a lot... Again, speaking from Ben and I in Melbourne... You guys have a lot to look forward to. There's plenty of games. Edgy on the weekend. Obviously, you got Wellington there at one point. MacArthur's, MacArthur as well. Oh, fuck. I forgot to ask about the girls. Anyway, I'll get there. My apologies to the girls. Keep on forgetting. Um, the girls will be there, obviously, on the Wellington game um, as well. Yeah. So, obviously, do a bit of sign and, signing and stuff like that. It's good to see. Lucky, hey, legend. Mate, Sorry, just woke up. Awful. Mate, you just woke up. That's more form, mate. It's been so, 10 to 7. It's all right, won't tell him we just freaking mentioned the freaking major sponsor. Um, <laughs> anyway, talk hey, about lucky the lads have already plugged their sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> that was the notification on his phone. He just woke up, he heard it. He's like, Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, his ears were, his ears were burning. <laughs> but yeah, look, guys, as we said, um, we thank everyone obviously for being a part of obviously the you know in the chat and everything else and liking the Facebook page. Page I think we're up to about 230 likes on the Facebook page, about 200, close to 250 followers on the Facebook side of things. Um, I think we're around 200, uh, no, 182, 183 um, subscribers on YouTube, which is fantastic. In saying that as well, um, I have been working on something no in the background <laughs> for our podcast. And our podcast, when we return, will be going to a lot more places than what it currently is now. At the moment, you can get it on the Crossbar Capers Twitch. You can get it on the Crossbar Capers YouTube. But it will be going out to a multitude more places when we return. Yeah. Some, um, you know, obviously, some backroom stuff that we're obviously looking at. Again, we just want to get it out there as much as we possibly can. And as we love the Jets, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a Jets tragic. I love talking about the Jets. We, you know, we don't only all always talk about the Jets. I'm more than happy to speak to any former, current um, player, coach, backroom staff, CEO, whatever, whatever it yeah. is in regards to football, uh, male, female, it doesn't matter. Put it this way: someone has identified our content as something that they enjoy and they believe other people would enjoy. Yeah. Um, first the way that when you do things. Yes. Because yes. you, you'll admit, our podcast is a little bit not like the norm, like, not like a normal podcast. Oh, no, we're as laid back as shit. Trust me, guys, I've had about friggin' 10 hours sleep or whatever in the last couple of days and, you know, there was no prep for this one. <laughs> Rock up. I did a lot of it remotely. You only rocked up at home about an hour before we started. I tell you, I, t I tell you how friggin' um how how, how you know how friggin' um. You know, Josh has been busy when I have not had successive days of phone calls from him <laughs> in over a week. Uh, I've left him alone, well, and he's left me alone in turn. Left a feel. Uh, what was I was going to say. 
But yeah, as I said, freaking getting Laurie on was a freaking absolute shit show. Um, just just to prove a point of how busy he is. Yes. I spoke to him nearly two weeks ago about it, saying you know freaking la di da la di da, and then he's like, "Yep, yeah, no worries. I'm working with you lads or whatever it was." And that never he's happened. a busy man. <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> I I saw you. Yeah, we'll do it this day. Nah, we'll do it this day. Nah, hang on. You fucking said I'd work in with you'd work in with me. What's going on? <laughs> so hey, we got there in the end. We do thank him. Um, never tear us apart. But too right, Matty. Uh, too right. I, I, I want you to sing that in the friggin' gold mankini. That'd be good. Yes. Playing poker if you missed it. No, oh, very good. Uh, what do we got? Don't not don't hear it from Josh. Is that bad thing, Ben? Yeah, it's it. It's best when Ben gets worried. If he doesn't hear what? from me. That's what Luke's like, if you haven't heard from him. Uh, <laughs> it's not a bad thing, it's just weird. <laughs> yeah. Yes. normally there's a phone call every day after I leave work. Or during a lunch break. That's it, we don't want to freaking make phone calls while we're at home, otherwise the wives think we're fucking, they get up with some talk and shit all the time. Yeah, they do. Oh, oh, did you get a phone call from your boyfriend today? Stop talking football and shit. So he's still on the way from work. <laughs> yeah. So pretty much just really realistically, honestly, every phone call is just discussing the Jets Jets day. What have we heard? Freaking what's happening? And shit like that. Until so, I crack the shits and go, I have not been on social media and I do not want to. I'm having a break from the Jets for seven days. Don't talk to me about it. Well, honestly, it was the first I've heard about this whole beanie shit. And that's probably that article that freaking. Ever- well, it's probably that. I had I had a good laugh. He's on stress leave. Yeah. Oh, I- poor man. He's not on stress leave. He just don't want to go back. Um. He's just having a binge. Yeah, again, it's probably that freaking article, or whatever it was, where you had to have a subscription to the Newcastle Herald to watch. And I don't. I just sort of. No, see, but I, somebody posted the entire article to me that did uh, have a subscription. Oh right, there we go. I'm not going to say who. I must have, and must have. Oh, no, I didn't. Anyway, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say yeah. who. Yeah. Um. I'll sing it in my man, gold man, Kenny, at the first home game this upcoming season, out loud in Bay One. Bloody oath. Bloody yes. Oath. Yes, let's do it. Oh, that was the best. Oh, that was the best home day when for me and all the old boys, the old boys, you know, the NCL boys and shit got there. And we'll just were you there, Ben? And we're just banging out friggin' old school tunes. Yes, I was yeah, there. Yeah, we were singing old school like friggin' American Pie and friggin' everything yeah, else. Okay. Oh, it was the most random as shit. Fuck, that was funny. Um, yeah, yeah. Ben, we know how Liverpool is going. How do you think Birmingham performance is going so far this season? I uh, haven't haven't <laughs> kept up with it. Um, for the past week, since we... Who did we lose to that we shouldn't have lost to? Wickham. Wickham, yeah. I haven't yeah, kept yeah. up with it since then. Yeah. yeah. I haven't kept up with it since then. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Josh, you. What? Today's episode is now live on Anchor. There you go, guys. If he's missed it or he's know anyone who freaking watches it and stuff like that, it's good, obviously, to watch it work and shit Which like means that. it will be on Spotify soon. Probably so- within the next hour. There we go. But anyway, guys, we are going to slowly wrap it up. You know what it's like here. They're all the originals. It freaking takes forever to get off here because we keep talking shit. Everyone loves to have a chat, and we love to have a chat, guys. It can be as most random as shit. We don't have to talk Jets. We can talk Premier League, Championship, whatever it is, football-related. Um, yeah. Again, we thank everyone for jumping in, obviously, every week to tune in to listen to it. There's plenty of stuff coming, guys, honestly. Not, not only, obviously, you know, possible new platforms, of um, the podcast going out to. There's stuff in the works that we want to get into, hopefully this upcoming A-League season. Um, you know, more away days, more, obviously, interviews. Obviously, probably at game days and stuff like that. I want to get more involved with the women's um, W-League side um, in regards to getting out there and promoting those guys as much as we can because as far as I'm concerned, I believe that they deserve it as much as the men, as I'm sure a lot of you do. Um because let's be honest, five month contracts are bullshit. And uh, speaking on the women, oh yes, uh, there is a comment that was left uh, forty five minutes ago on our going live post on Facebook. Oh, yeah. and that is from the Newcastle Jets W League active support. Ooh, and it states, "Hi Laurie, how do we get the bar open for W League games at number two? Asking for a friend." My apologies, I will send in that message. If we'll you are, that. if we'll you are in. Your- if you are in here, maybe if you've got that, Ben, just put just that down below. On the face- I'll just, re- just reply on the Facebook. Yeah, yeah, maybe just... Re- re- Facebook. Maybe just whack it in there if you're on it. Just tell them that we'll get back to them. We'll let them know. Apologies, didn't say it. Um, but yeah. It was on the front page this page, so... Ginger Ninja. How are you, mate? Anyway, Tony Bowen. Tony! 
Tony! Be sure to get down and see the guys at the Three Bears. Yeah. Three Bears. Down at, um, obviously, down there at the top of town. Um, three Bears, Mama Bears. I believe it was back open. Tony, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, obviously, the Kefi Cafe as well, guys. Another one down there. Be sure to get down there at the Kefi Cafe. If you're a Reds fan, get onto it. Guys friggin' um, go off of a morning and shit like that when the Reds play. It's a great, great place to be. Good coffee. Um, I think that hopefully the beers have been improved because um, they make you piss like a racehorse. Um, <laughs> it's friggin' chaos. But, yep, yeah, thanks, Lou. Great coffee there. Three bears. Who was laughing about how Birmingham we're doing? Aiden. Um, Aiden. We have a, our next game is a home away from home game. Home away. Yeah, we're playing away at St Andrews Junior Trophy Stadium against Coventry. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Bears is open. There we go, Tony. Cheers, mate. Oh, yeah, go. Be, be sure to be sure, guys, get down there once we once I can finally get up there over the Christmas break. I'll pop in and say good day, and, and hopefully myself too. Get one of the super shakes. Some freaking cream. One of those strawberry ones looks bomb. I'm all over that. <laughs> yeah, I'm still up in the air with what work are doing yet. Absolutely. Um, once so yeah. I know you'll like. <laughs> Uh, I was, was going to say, yes. Yeah. So be sure to go down to the Kefi Cafe there as well. Three Bears. Mama Bears is there as well. Go jump, Pop in and see Andy down there at the Gentleman's Outfitters. Again, just giving all these guys a plug. These guys have been fabulous and um, absolutely fantastic for us over the season. Over the, over the last A-League season, obviously, into this scenario of where we are now. Without those guys, um, yeah, let's be honest. It's all about freaking giving back to the local communities and stuff like that. And... Um, Whatever we can do to get more people into the into these places, yeah, we'll do that for free every day of the week. So, uh, what else we got? Thanks, Lukey. Again, to Lockie, major sponsor. Big shout out to those guys. Be sure to go in and see him. Spectacles. Do, Spectacles. They're giving me a bit of a headache, but that's because I haven't really worn them yet. Exactly right. I'm gonna get used to them. <laughs> uh, five new ones. I'm about, I'm about to sit down and record for the next two hours and then edit. So I'll tell you at like 10, 11 o'clock when I finish, when I've had them on for basically half a day. <laughs> um, probably pop some Panadol before then, uh, before the end of it. Um, but yeah, as I said, guys, hopefully every question was answered as good as we possibly can get it. If you've missed anything, be sure to go back through and re-watch it um, to obviously listen to those questions that you may have missed. Again, you can get it back on YouTube. You can get it obviously on, um, uh, what was I going to say, Spotify, Anchor, and those sort of platforms as well. Exclamation mark podcast in the chat. There it is there. Josh, since you have yeah, not I'm had happy. time to play FIFA, has Burn been able to tell you how good it is or not? What, FIFA? I've played FIFA. I've been playing FIFA. Uh, I just don't... I'm not playing... I told you. I haven't touched it in about a fortnight. Haven't played FIFA and won't play FIFA until friggin' finally gives me the word and shit on the stuff that I need to play it on. Play it. So. We're getting a lot closer. Very good. Um, he's, he's done a test about importing and exporting textures, so the kit files for modification to be re-imported to put your own in. Mm, good. He's done the test. The test works. It's yeah. just been compiled into a build that can be usable now. Bloody Tony. Friggin' hell. Yeah, about, yeah, sh- about a week, a week and a half away. Right. How shit is it? How shit, how shit must it be being a United fan this year? Just had a I don't know. Time. Ask Luke. No, I said ask Tony. Ask oh, Tony, man. <laughs> GGMU. <laughs> anyway, we're going to leave it there, guys. We thank everyone for jumping on tonight. We hope you guys enjoy the lead up to Christmas. Um, hope enjoy to- your time off. We will. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, hope, yeah. As I said, be sure. Friggin, um, I'll still, be, I'll still be posting stuff on the face on the Facebook page. So be sure if you haven't gone and liked the Facebook page, do so, because I'll still put stuff in there. If he's got Jets related stuff, message me and stuff like that. Ben's still going to be doing a fair bit of content on his side, so um, be sure to go over and get your fix over there. It, yeah, doesn't matter where it is. Friggin, you got to watch Ben's shit. Jet stuff gets brought up, so whack it. Oh in. yeah. Um, as I said, guys. Other than that, we hope we thank you guys. Honestly, we hope. You guys have a good couple of weeks off. Hopefully, lead, or leading into the season, I hope you guys enjoy the friendlies. Send some photos. Work the photos on the Crossbar Capers page so that you've what when you're at the games and stuff like that. We love to see that sort of stuff. You know, freaking new purchases, Jets-related purchases. You know, I'm sick of seeing Chatty post all the shit all the time. 
Yes, um, <laughs> Streaming tomorrow, Ben. There you go. You'll find yes, me tomorrow. tomorrow. Holiday over Christmas, I wish. Yeah, that'll be happening. Um, I, I, this year will probably be the first year that I actually get one. <laughs> Hopefully up in Newcastle. But yeah. Other than that, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. We thank you guys for jumping on. Be sure, as I said, go like us on Facebook. Go subscribe to the YouTube. Jump onto Twitch and give us a follow on there. Be sure to friggin uh, keep in touch with us. Any info, any photos or anything like that when you're at the MacArthur game or the Edgy game on the weekend, whack him into us. We love to see it. And um, we will catch you guys as in the next couple of weeks before Chrissy. I have no idea what the hell you're doing there. Be sure. Check out our sponsor. There it is, right there. Yeah, absolutely. I was, I was getting there after I was going to do me scenario, but anyway, there you oh, go. I was case. <laughs> I was wondering what it was at first. I thought it was the phone at first. What the fuck are you doing? No, it's bus case. <laughs> nah, too easy, guys. Um, as I said, share it around. If you haven't shared it around and stuff like that, send it on every freaking A League page and shit that you know to all your friends and that that may have missed it and so forth. Um. Yeah, do that. We muchly appreciate it. Thanks to Benno for obviously <clears throat> the past seriously nearly twelve months solid. Um, yeah, man. Since we've really had a break, so friggin' thanks for jumping on as always, mates. Muchly appreciate it. It's always a pleasure. It is always a pleasure, mate. As uh, as we said, guys, friggin', we can't do it without you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the next couple of weeks off. We will. We will be back bigger and better. With as we said, plenty of things happening in regards to obviously the new A League season the podcast in general, and obviously um, a few little tweaks and a few little things, hopefully, from some more sponsors. Um, oh. Other than that, guys, we'll take you take it easy. We will speak to you soon. And as always... We hate Coast Scum. We hate Coast Scum. It is that simple. Get it in there, guys. Hashtag Get we hate Coast Scum. Luke Sports, 12 months. Damn, that's it. Yeah, seriously. That's so it's also our, um, our COD clan designation. We yes. Yeah, yeah, I've ch I changed it. You both I changed got it. it. I changed it, and, I, and when Ben seen it, went, oh, I that's a good idea. It, that's a good idea. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, much to appreciate it. One last time. We hate Coast Scum. Especially after the 2 0 loss they freaking gave us. We'll see you guys in the A League season. Mm. Anyway, guys, catch us later. Take it easy. Ciao. Bye.